my friends, welcome to Homeschooling with Mrs. Miller. Today we are going to finish 301 Clover Syllables. This is part three. We will take those 12 two-syllable words and sort them into parts of speech. Through the use of visual materials, notice the color coding of parts of speech. Nouns will be underlined green, verbs will be underlined yellow, adjectives will be underlined dark blue, and prepositions will be underlined purple. As a review, here's how I color code parts of speech. Nouns will be underlined green. A noun is a person, place, thing, or animal. A pronoun will be circled green. Pronouns take the place of a noun. Verbs will be underlined yellow. There are action verbs, helping verbs, and linking verbs. Adjectives will be underlined dark blue. Adjectives are the tells about the noun words. Articles. These three words, a and the, these three little words are underlined light blue, and they tell us that a noun is coming, a noun is coming. Prepositions are underlined purple. Prepositions show position or time. Adverbs are underlined red. Adverbs tell how, when, or where an action is done. Remember also, some of these words may be new to your child. Take advantage of discussing new vocabulary. Here we have a and the. If you put a and the in front of a word and that word makes sense, that word can be used as a noun. A noun is coming, a noun is coming. The kids love that. So we can say a motel and it makes sense. We stayed at a motel. An eagle, an athlete. An eagle flew over our heads. An athlete is someone to be admired. The border, the produce in the grocery store, the bridle on the horse, the harpoon that he used. All of these can be used with a, an, or the in front of them. So we know that these words can be nouns. We look here over at the verbs. Explode, enfold, pursue. Adjectives. Out of those 12 words, we only had one adjective. Feeble. And feeble tells about a noun. Feeble tells about a noun. Feeble. Preposition. We had one preposition out of those 12 words. Behind. Show space. So, there we have it. Part three. We're done with clover syllables. Until next time, have a great day.